This is absolutely breaking news. Around five minutes ago, we have the first claimed successful replication of LK99. If you don't know what LK99 is, it's all the buzz now in the technology space because this could be as powerful as the transistor was to our current world. Essentially, the LK99 is potentially going to be a superconductor. And if this is true, it could have a significant impact on society and artificial intelligence. So check out this tweet. It said, accomplished by a team at the Huangzhou University of Science and Technology and posted 30 minutes ago, the LK99 flick slightly levitates for both orientations of the magnetic field, meaning it is not simply a magnetized piece of iron or similar magnetic material. A simple magnetic flake would be attracted to one polarity of the strong magnet and repelled by the other. A diamagnet would be repelled under either orientation since it resists and expels all fields regardless of the polarity. But there are some caveats. There is no way to verify the orientation of the strong magnet in this video. There are also yet to be published experimental measured values of this sample. There is also the takeaway part of this tweet where they said if this synthesis was indeed successful, then this material is easy enough to be made by labs other than the original research team. I would watch out carefully for the results of the Argonne National Lab who are reported to be working on their own synthesis of the sample. This overall collaborates two independent simulation studies that investigated the original Korean author's claim about the material and crystal structure, and both studies supported the claims. So, with all the claims on the internet about this game-changing LK99, it is important to understand which claims are real. This website right here can show you many different progress reports on what's going to be legit and what's not going to be legit. This person has decided to keep an entire table of every single laboratory and official institution slash private group that is currently working on replicating these results. Now we are still awaiting some results from more of the Argon National Laboratory and the School of Physics at Nanjing University, but many different institutions have already shown that there is partial success. Now, Whilst this is all very entertaining and very, very interesting, we must also understand the complete implications of this superconductor. Because whilst the studies are still in their early days, and we will need a few weeks, perhaps even months, to completely verify and get this study peer reviewed, what does the future look like if this superconductor is actually built and replicated across the globe? So, how would this actually change your life on a day to day basis? So, one of the things that would change your life is, of course, faster training. Now, this isn't going to be trains that are just slightly faster, but this would be trains that are exponentially faster than what we currently do have. You see, currently trains actually ride on the tracks, and of course, with friction, there is less speed. But imagine a super fast train that glides above the tracks without touching them. It would be like flying on the ground. With superconductors, we could make these super fast trains called maglev trains that zip people from one city to another in no time. With almost no friction on the tracks, maglev trains can reach incredible speeds, much faster than regular trains. They can also decelerate and accelerate much more efficiently, making them quicker and safer for passengers. In addition, these trains are going to be much more eco-friendly, which means that they would produce a zero direct emissions that could be potentially powered by renewable energy sources. In addition, they're also going to be smooth and comfortable. Without the vibrations and noise caused by wheels on the tracks, maglev trains offer a smoother and quieter ride, making the journey more comfortable for passengers. In addition, the absence of physical contact between the trains and tracks reduces the risk of accidents caused by derailments, and this means that maglev trains would be a safer mode of transportation. In addition, superconductors would bring some amazing changes to the world of computers, making them super duper computers. First off, it would be lightning fast processing. Superconductors would enable the processes that work at blazing speeds. Your computer's brain, the CPU, could perform calculations so quickly that everything you do on your computer would feel instant. Whether you're browsing the internet or playing games or running complex applications, everything would happen in a flash. In addition, imagine playing your favorite video game with graphics so realistic and so smooth that it feels like you're inside the game. With superconducted computers, games would run at their highest settings without any lag, providing an immersive experience and incredible, enjoyable gaming experience. 
Of course, there would additionally be instant booting and loading. You know how it takes a little while for your computer to start up and open applications? Well, with superconductors booting up your computer, a loading software would happen almost instantly. You could turn on your computer and within the blink of an eye, it's ready to use. There's also multitasking marvels. Supercomputers would be able to handle multitasking like superheroes. You would have a dozens of applications open at the same time and your computer wouldn't break a sweat. Switching between tasks would be instantaneous, making you super productive and efficient. In addition, supercomputers could take incredibly complex simulations and calculations that are currently out of reach for conventional computers. Scientists and researchers could use these powerful computers to study climate change, design new materials, simulate medical treatments, and solve challenging problems in various fields. In addition, we would get some pretty cool new gadgets. Levitating gadgets, for example. With superconductors, we could create gadgets that levitate without any visible support, making them appear as if they are floating in midair. Picture a levitating smartphone or tablet that hovers right in front of you, allowing you to interact with its hands free. This would not only be visually stunning, but also incredibly practical, making tasks like video calls, reading and gaming much more immersive and comfortable. Floating skateboards and hoverboards. Imagine riding a skateboard or hoverboard without any wheels touching the ground. With the power of superconducting magnets, these devices could hover just above the surface offering a smooth and futuristic riding experience. You could glide effortlessly through the streets or even do tricks without worrying about bumps or obstacles. We could also have levitating speakers and headphones. Audio gadgets could also benefit from superconductors. Imagine having speakers or headphones that float above their bases, creating an immersive 360 degree sound experience. You could have your music following you around the room no matter where you move. In addition, Superconducting solar energy could be a use for solar panels. Solar panels are a popular renewable energy source, but they have limitations in storing energy for use during cloudy or nighttime periods. Superconductors can be used to create highly efficient and compact storage for the energy for solar power. This means that excess energy generated during sunny days can be stored more efficiently and released when needed, providing a continuous and reliable supply of clean energy. In addition, wind energy is another renewable energy. In addition, wind energy is another renewable energy source, but it can be intermittent due to varying wind speeds. Superconducting materials could enable more efficient wind and wind turbine designs, allowing them to capture and store more energy during windy periods. This stored energy can be used during calm periods, making wind power a more stable and dependable source of electricity. In addition, superconductors can enable more efficient and long distance power transmission. With superconducting cables, energy losses during transmission would be minimal, making it easier to integrate renewable energy sources located far from population centers. This would lead to better utilization of renewable energy and reduce reliance on fossil fuels for electricity generation. There would also be no more blackouts. Grid stability. Superconductors can play a crucial role in ensuring a stable electricity grid. By using superconducting materials in power transmission and distribution systems, the grid becomes more resilient to fluctuations and power surges, reducing the risk of blackouts during storms, natural disasters, or unexpected events. There can also be superconducting energy storage system that can act as backups during peak demand periods when there is a sudden drop in power grid supply. These systems can quickly release energy to stabilize the grid and prevent blackouts providing an extra layer of reliability and redundancy. There is also longer lasting batteries. Superconductors can revolutionize energy storage solutions. Superconducting coils can store energy with minimal loss, making batteries more efficient and longer lasting. This means that your gadgets, toys, and electric vehicles can have batteries that hold more charge and last much longer before needing to be replaced. Additionally, and additionally, superconducting materials can enable ultra-fast charging for batteries. Imagine charging your phone or tablet in a matter of seconds instead of waiting for hours. This would greatly increase the convenience of using electronic devices and reduce the time spent tethered to charging cables. Overall, superconductors have the potential to revolutionize the way we generate, store, and distribute electricity, leading to a more sustainable and reliable energy system. By harnessing the power of superconductors, we can create a cleaner and greener world where blackouts are a thing of the past, batteries last longer, and eco-friendly energy sources became, become much more practical and accessible for powering our homes, schools, and everyday lives.